Well, today you get to come antiquing with me. I went to two semi-local antique stores and just perused what they had. I only bought one item. I know, I usually get more than that, but I wasn't really on the lookout for anything except a mirror for our fixer-upper and I found that on Facebook Marketplace actually. But I am just going to share what I got to see, some of the items I saw, and I forget sometimes the pricing for antique stores is way higher than thrift stores. So like this cane back chair, for instance, was fifty-some dollars, and there were three of them, super cute, very wobbly, not sturdy enough, and so you know I would pass on them for being fifty plus dollars. So, anyways, just come along with me. I'll probably chit chat with you a little bit here and there, and just bring you along on this enjoyable antiquing trip. darling table was $189 and it would be so cute as like a little island or something like that in our home but we do have our kitchen table in our house and then just looking through all the different booths seeing um, different dishware and this blue really caught my eye I don't remember what brand it was I don't know if it even had a brand on it and then um, I'm always on the hunt for baskets and such as you'll see me pick up here but I can find thrifted baskets in as good of condition or garage sale baskets for a lot cheaper than $40, which the basket was. I like seeing discounted um, antiques as well. So some of the items were on sale, but still nothing that I really thought I needed. White pictures are always on my list of things to try to find, but I prefer to find like false graph or iron stone. These were really cute, but they just had probably a little more modern feel to it than I was looking for. thrift store and they have a lot of stuff outside as well especially when it's warmer out I've found a few things there but I thought this farm picture picture was really cute I even went back and picked it up twice but you know like I said I'm kind of going with more of the white theme so it didn't quite match my home decor and what I was looking for I maybe could have picked it up to put things in in our fixer upper but I do have a crock I think already set for that and then again, even wire baskets I'm always on the lookout for. So just some cute baskets here in this booth. Okay, 
so this is the picture that I did pick up. It was only $3, and what a cute little farm scene with this boy and girl. And I just thought it was adorable with that rustic frame. So I did only pay uh, like three twenty dollars something antiquing on this particular day. And this booth had some other really cute pictures and um, trays and even some modern things as well as you can see. stools they're always fun to look at and think what can I put on those but I, again I didn't pick anything up this little red stool would be really cute for my daughter but we've already got a couple and then just looking at this booth had more tools and ladders and just some more rustic type decor Little vintage chairs for little toddlers like I have would be really cute, but we do have some plastic ones that were gifted, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. And then I've always thought about old photos of people in their black and whites, but I've never bought them, so let me know if you would get them. I was so excited about this set, but I didn't buy it, of course, because I have a few of these. Um, I think Courier and Ives cups is what they are. So maybe if I go back, I'll have to pick them up because $15 for, I think it was a set of 12, wasn't too bad. And then this is the last piece I looked at, a set of three Faltzgraf, but I do like the Heritage Collection in Faltzgraf pieces. So this was really a pretty quick antiquing trip. So hope you enjoyed just coming along and getting glimpses of what I got to see. So here is a closer look at the one piece that I picked up. Just like I said, an old farmhouse with a little girl and boy picking flowers. It is by M. Caracelli. Um, I should do a little research to see who that is, but just a cute little picture that I thought would be adorable in our bathroom or in our little fixer upper or you know, who knows where, because it's just a very adorable and couldn't pass up $3. <laughs> 